Okay, what I'd like to do in this tutorial is to show you how to brighten eyes in a portrait. It's going to be quite simple. Um, first thing we're going to do is um, add an adjustment layer of exposure. So come over here to the exposure adjustment layer and give it a click. And I want to get in tight to the eyes so I can see some detail. Go ahead and make some adjustments to get those eyes nice and bright. Don't worry about the rest of the image, but just concern yourself with the quality of the, uh, the iris, uh, of the eyes of which we're going to be brightening. And um, once you get that adjustment set, go ahead and uh, pan back out. And next thing we need to do is make that adjustment layer black. So Control or Command I will invert that. Hit B for your brush tool. Make sure you have a white foreground color. Let's zoom back in. Make sure your hardness is set to zero so you have a nice soft edge. Um, whatever brush size is going to be up to you depending on the image that you're working with. And we're basically going to paint back in some of that um, uh, layer that we uh, created. I don't want to do two things. I don't want to hit this part right here under the, uh, on the lid of the eye. And I want to leave a little edge of darkness around the, um, a little edge of darkness around the iris uh, pupil itself. Not the pupil, the iris. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint back. This is at 100% opacity. 100% flow. I'm going to be careful not to go over into this area, just the eye itself, and get rid of all of that, and do the same for the other eye. Just try to leave a nice little dark edge on the edge of the eye, because it looks it, looks, it adds a little bit more dimension and depth to that. There we go. So once you got that done, you can uh, obviously at 100%. It doesn't look real. So we're going to come back to our opacity and just bring it back a little bit. Usually about 50% works pretty good. I'm just going to type in 50. And you can, yes, also come up to opacity and type in 50% when you uh, erase it. But by doing it 100% allows you to make a, a perfect adjustment um, here and get um, the look perfect without uh, being limited to just 50%. So as you can see, I can really tone it down. If I just want a, a slight enhancement, I can bring it up for a more dramatic enhancement. Um, if I want it to look surreal, we can obviously go full blast with that. But just stick it at 50% for this particular one. And I think I like that. Let's do a little before and after look. Before and after. Incredible difference. Very easy to do. Non-destructive um, and very effective. Okay, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.